How's it going guys? Hope you guys are having an amazing day. Welcome back my winners. So on this episode I'm going to show you you're reeling in your musky lure and all of a sudden you see a log behind your bait. Check it out. We're going to show you guys how to do the figure eight. Never pull your rod right out of the water. Never pull your bait right out of the water. You want to make sure on every cast you do a figure eight because so many times do a blind figure eight there's no follows nothing and I just I do it anyway and sure enough a muskie comes out of absolutely nowhere and just destroys that bait so guys I'm gonna show you how to do it show you some tips what to do what not to do stay tuned all right guys so this video is aimed at novice anglers who are musky fishing just getting into musky fishing and want to know how to do the figure eight first things first you don't want too much line hanging from your rod tip to the bait that's not gonna let you figure eight properly it's gonna it's gonna make it look awkward also you don't want too little so you want like a perfect amount just perfect enough so that I can perfectly execute the figure eight so here's a little uh, example so you're reeling in your bait it's coming up do not do not pull that bait right out of the water. Don't ever do that. So my bait is now at my feet. I'm gonna grab the rod with both hands. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put that rod tip into the water. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a loop like a C. This is called the hang. A lot of times you get hits on this. You come in and you just go right in between and make another loop. I just made another loop. So I come right back inside and then another loop so this is the figure eight and obviously it looks like an eight right so i'm holding the rod with both hands and i'm i'm doing this slowly do not do that do not rush this do it very slow very methodical now sometimes you'll notice that fish is hot on your bait but it's just not eating a little something you can do is give it a couple more twitches Twitch. As you can see, the water is splashing when I do this. When they hear that water splashing, it really gets them fired up. It could trigger a reaction strike. So that's pretty much the figure eight. It's the most iconic method in musky fishing because you know what? It can be the difference between you catching a fish and not catching it. And I get a lot of my muskies on this technique. Leave me a comment. Let me know if I did something wrong, you know? I could have done something wrong. And uh, let me hear your input. A few moments later. That's shallow. See if I can catch this guy. Yeah. This is our spillway. Oh! Lots of minnows right there. I'm about to throw a jerk bait. He does not want it. Yeah. We're gonna try chumming the water a bit. What? Oh, you got one! Oh! Oh, yeah! Look at all this stuff. I got bad stuff. First fish of the day! He's a dark homie. I can't believe I cooked one of these guys up the other day. Oh yeah, you did, eh? Sheep had catch and cook. Oh, he just shit. You see that? Oh, he did shit. <laughs> Come on, amateur. Golly, he's hooked twice. There you go, buddy. Hold him 
like a bass. <laughs> <laughs> he said, hold him like a bass. Get him back. So I'm seeing a lot of minnows, so I'm just going to cut this pickle rig off. I'm going to put on uh, like a jerk bait or something. Let's see, what am I going to go with here today? Thinking jerk bait. Let's see. Yeah, there's a lot of muskies here too. All right guys, so I'm just gonna go with this old beat up Yozuri jerk bait. It's got a quite a lip, so it looks like it dives maybe like five feet. See if we can catch like a silver bass or something. Cause I do see a lot of minnows right in front of me, like tons. And the reason they're here is cause of this little pipe. It's spewing out warm water. So they're attracted to that. Oh yes. This thing mimics them perfectly. I'm gonna start off by going not too far out because all the minnows are right in front of me. And there's like massive schools of them. So let's see what's chasing them. A few moments later. Someone really snagged up a shopping cart. Like, bro, how heavy is your line? Are you using 200 pound line? How did you get that up there? Holy. Dude, there's tons of snags on it. Can you guess the corpse of this fish? That's a freaking sturgeon. Look at that. Oh my God, look at the head. It's completely fossilized. Well, it's not fossilized, but it's like bone. That's crazy. I know, that'd be sick. Harvest the skull, put it in my room. I'm about to do that. That's crazy. So, I just switched up to this spinnerbait. Got a weed bed right in front of me, so I'm gonna see if I can get, get a pike take home to eat for dinner just a baby bottle right there big oh <laughs> i heard you say oh bass <laughs> that's so awesome <laughs> he came flying out of nowhere and just was like hold that out bro nice <laughs> Largy in the Detroit River. Munching on bait. Oh! Oh! There's another one! 